Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will look at how to view the database content from the front end and we will display this data in a table format. Like in the other videos, I typed all the code to make it easy to follow. The link will be in the description below or head to my blog site and search for video number 9. The first point is to make a computer list HTML template. Head to Sublime and under templates, create a new file. Take the content of the HTML list from the website and paste it in Sublime. Save this as computer list.html. Okay, here we are making a HTML document and we are calling the title from the title defined here and then we make a table, a HTML table. The table starts here and ends here. And in the table, we made two rows. And in the first row, we have hash in the first column. And in the second column, we have computer name, the MAC address next, IP address, username, and location. And each of these columns will match a, a, a column right here. So this will be matching with for loops that count and what this will do is to count the number of rows that are created by that i'll come to that very soon and the numbers will be point will be marked here like number one two three and so on and instant that computer name if you go to your views you can see here in list we have a query set and that query set is going to run through our model and fetch everything that's in there because we said computer.objects.all and that will run through the model and pull out every single thing that it sees in that database or in that table and if you come here it says for instance in query set so this is a for loop and the for loop starts here and ends here for every item that it sees in the query set it will run that and all those items will be assigned it's it will take the instance like what we define here the variable for instance in query set then this other line says instant that computer name give me the name of that particular instance the instance the computer name then you have instance of mac address and so on so this is how all these things are put together and then when we run it like when i save it you will see how they will be formatted in a table format now move go back to appcoms.com import computer model in views.py front.models import computer copy that and go to views.py and just on top here you paste that in our view we are importing the model that we created in models.py so that's done head back to appcoms create a computer list view in views.py take that and paste it in views.py and paste it just below computer entry okay so this is not well formatted uh, you can see the return is not in the function i will click here and press tab once and also looking at it they are not in line properly and python will give us error so from the title i will back one do backspace again one here again backspace so this is perfectly aligned and then we can save that and head back to the blog site create a url in url.py to take you to the device list page so that's the url copy that and go to url.py and add this line just after computer entry so this will take us to computer when we type computer list it will take us to computer list view and we have to import that from that from django dot views import home was imported that is what we used here we imported computer entry as well so we need to import computer list save that and then 
go to the app change the url we have to type is computer list go and type back forward slash computer list it says view does not exist okay cannot import computer dot views dot computer list all right here you can see there is a small space i hope you will i will correct that before pasting the code to I'll have to go back to the website and correct that but this is right there where the error is coming from so I'll have to backspace that and save it and refresh that global name computers is not defined and it's giving us error it says error is coming from line number 29 in views.py okay good it looks like I didn't import uh, in views.py line number 29 view is going to have a title called list of all computers and we're going to create a query set and the query set is going to be the one that will um, request or or pull our data from our database and here we said computer.objects.all that means pull out everything from the database but look at here if i look if i look at my model i can see the model that we created is computer but it's not and and i am calling it uh, from the views and I'm, I'm, I call it as computers so that space I have to take out that s but I'll make sure I correct all this from the website and then we will save that again and refresh great so you can see the data is now rendering on the browser okay and let's try to input another data and see how it looks like I go back to computer entry add some data and click on save and go back to computer list okay what you notice here is if I click on save it doesn't uh, empty the form at the same time doesn't go direct me somewhere so this is what we're going to look at in the next video so we will go back to list and you can see the computer is just added and also when adding computers you can see the other uh, location is not added or we cannot input location from the front end like what we have here this other devices is having uh, IT office as their location but we don't have the functionality here and this is coming from the forms uh, sorry the forms that we created some time ago and right here is where we need to add location if you want to uh, input it from the front end so if I refresh that cancel sorry if I just refresh that you can see location is coming and now I can uh, add data on my location also I can input it from here great so I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe send in your comments and like this video if you like and see you in the next video